Singapore is one of the biggest coastal megacities on the planet and we have one of the busiest ports in the world. Climate changes on the oceans will affect the livelihood of coastal communities across Southeast Asia. The marine science research community here is uniquely placed to lead international research into protecting and restoring the rich biodiversity that surrounds them. What we learn has huge implications for how tropical communities adapt in our changing world. We are using new tools to monitor the environment so we can track how the marine environment is changing. This enables decisions on how we use resources as well as efforts to conserve and restore biodiversity. MESN stands for Marine Environmental Sensing Network. It's an ecosystem that we developed to bring together cross-disciplinary uh, collaborations among scientists, engineers, and stakeholders to support scientific-based decision-making. The data from our MESN buoys is further augmented by data from our biogeochemistry labs and multi-omics technologies, enabling us to study these microorganisms in ways that were not possible before. Beyond ocean health monitoring, microbes also offer good opportunities to tackle hardy environmental issues. We are tracking microbes that are capable of degrading oils from spills and degrading plastics. Our monitoring data is showing how fast climate change is affecting our coastal habitats and biodiversity. How we manage our waters and the technologies we develop to do so will provide a valuable tool for other developing coastal cities to protect and maintain their shorelines as well. Rebuilding coral reefs is critical to the survival of life in our oceans and coastal habitats. We have been developing systems to optimise coral culture here in our aquaria. So here is our high-density coral nursery. Coral nurseries work by providing safe environments for young coral fragments to rest and recover after fragmentation. As the sea is getting warmer, it's not enough to just restore coral reefs. Our team is now looking to build climate resilience into the transplanted species so that they have a better chance to survive into the future. And we do this by testing how different corals respond to rising temperatures. This way we can identify the genotypes that are more stress tolerant so that we can use these in the restoration efforts. And how we do this is by looking at the physiology of the different corals when we subject them to these temperatures. And from the physiology, we can actually tell whether that particular genotype can survive in warmer seas. Southeast Asia has more ports than anywhere else in the world and many are growing. We hope that what we are doing in Singapore and will continue to do so may be translated across the region and help jumpstart efforts in developing countries so that we can take faster, positive actions to protect our shared ocean. Yes, yes we, we can, can do, do this! It.